I want to start out by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Kohala Yahawa Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Rakak Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Moso in the Tumanist doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shallow unto the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites of the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rakah Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird. Looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Shem Shai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such a commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. To be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and those are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, that in the latter days would have the fatness of the earth, and they would rule it with the great sword. And this would be the so-called white men of today, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs. And these would be the ones that are in control of Babylon the Great. Okay, Babylon the Great is America today. Babylon means confusion. America means bitter. And what's happening is their economy is crashing from the inside out through their, um, you know, believing that they can be able to implement their new world order, the Nova Soto Socorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, by pushing forth, um, you know, fear, fear mongering and pushing forth um, a dystopian society on the people to have everyone... Uh, Karagman up, you know, have everyone have a device inside of them so they can be able to track their every movement, their buying and selling and what they do, what they say and what they do. Going into Esau, Edom, having a God complex and wanting everybody to uh, be in his image, not in the image of Yahweh Shem Rashai. But the Lord has raised up 7,000 men or believers, you know, which is just a number of believers, um, you know, which would be the remnant, the elect that are going to be able to withstand all the... Um, you know, the, the tribulation that's about to happen to Babylon the Great and other parts of the world, right? Because we know that um, Babylon the Great controls all these different, um, you know, um, countries, you know, through their, the, through their military force. And their house of cards going into the article that, that I'm going to be bringing out, you know, their house of cards is what toppling upon them, okay? And that's a metaphor for, this is just a regular... Um, <clears throat> Marion Webster, it says a house of cards, a structure, a situation, an institution that is unsustainable, shaky or constant danger of collapse. OK, and that started in 1969 to 1971 when Elder Abba Bivens was on the scene teaching. OK, and when waking up, um, you know, waking up the very elect even at that time. OK, to be able to come into this word to be able to have the understanding that we are Hebrew Israelites, that we are not just uh, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, or so-called, um, you know, um, you know, so-called Mexicans. Okay, but we are the children of Yahweh Shem Shai. But again, only the elect's going to be able to attain the truth. Okay, and this is making uh, Esau Edom's kingdom very shaky because that's how this place was built through the blood, sweat, and tears of rape, rob, and murdering the people. Okay, particularly you, you Hebrew Israelites. Okay, and that structure from them trying to trust the apple of uh, apple of Yahweh Shemarasha, apple of Yahweh Shemarasha's eyes is collapsing right before um, you know those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. So let's go into this article. It says uh, so. This was a natural news. <clears throat> I believe it was a couple days ago, or yeah, May twenty first. It says when the house of cards comes toppling down. Okay, and we know this place, Babylon the Great, is going to be a time of what? Great destruction. Okay, there's going to be a great destruction on Babylon the Great because of the fornication that is done with these different nations. You know, bringing forth that, uh, um, you know, pushing forth the, the things that you see around the four corners of the earth. You know, the um, the Renaissance art, you know, a white JC, okay, so-called white JC, okay, um, you know, pushing forth the... Um, 
you know, the man on man, the woman on woman, the transformers, um, all the different, uh, you know, wickedness that you see, that's Esau Edom pushing it out through the four corners of the earth because everywhere that he goes, you know, with his military force, once he conquers that nation, he brings forth his philosophies. Okay. And that's the same thing he's trying to do right now is, you know, um, collapse this whole system and bring forth his philosophies. Okay. And his image as far as his, um, his B system. Okay. Um, with, um, you know, one world government, one world military and a one world religion. And that one world religion is you bowing down to the B system. Okay. With having a device inside of you. It says last week brought the bombshell news that the globalists are already globaling Saki are already preparing to launch their new war digital currency. So when they're speaking about the globalists, they're actually speaking about the very elite. Okay. Which we know them to be the, uh, the Edomites. Okay. The Idumians. Okay. Going into, uh, the, you know, the definition of their pigmentation red. Okay. Cause so they're actually when going, the, going into them being translucent, going back to the curse of Cain. Okay. Where, uh, Cain was cursed with, um, being translucent, have his blood showing through. Okay, and that would be evidence, a, a mark of who he would be in this time, and that came out through Esau, okay, going into him being wasted away, which is, his name is the Omenomen in itself, because he's going to be wasted away after uh, a thousand years of hardcore slavery, but the Lord is using him as a tool to be able to um, ultimately show us, you know, what a wicked rulership is, and who we're actually falling after, and to repent and come back to the Lord, okay, because now, now is you know, not the time to be tearing to the Lord, you know, uh, Sirach 5 and 7, roughly paraphrasing that. It says, last week brought the bombshell news that the globalists, so again, the Edomites, okay, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the so-called white men, are already preparing to launch their new world digital currency. Yeah, so you had the Fed now that's launching in July 1st, okay, which is going to be a, a pilot to be able to have where, you know, you make certain payments and then it goes to the government and then they say if they can be able, if you can be able to actually purchase that. The petrodollar is going away, okay? Um, the dollar that folds is going away, going into the digital currency, which you see the CBDCs, okay? Which is, um, you know, again, a platform to be able to push digital currency and that will be governed by a blockchain. The blockchain will be these different stakeholders that invested millions and billions of dollars and lithium semiconductors and these different smart cities to be the different technologies to bring forth their technocracy. Okay. Because they want everyone chips. They want everyone revelation 13 and 16 down to 18. Okay. He caused it all both small and great rich and poor to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. And we're seeing that happen right now, roughly paraphrasing that. Okay. That we're seeing that far as that being exercised, which is the same word as he caused it. He's forming, he's fashioning it through these different polycrises. And, and these polycrises means many different crises. Okay. And we're seeing them on all fronts. You have the weaponization of the food. You have where the um, these different immigrants are coming in. That's going to create also another crisis. Okay. Whether it be real or not, they're, you know, because they also run a thing called the... Um, the Hegelian dialectic, which is pressure from below, pressure from above. You have these different uh, train derailments, which have all sorts of uh, resources on them, like fertilizer. Okay. And then they're falling into the, uh, they're going into the water. Okay. You had, um, you know, which creates all the different chemicals that go into the water, which creates uh, where you don't have, you know, people don't have jobs as far as the people that go fishing. And even the, you know, as far as the food going into, there's going to be a great famine. You have the barium aluminum in the air, right? So the list goes on and on of the wickedness that Esau Edom is pushing on the earth. But we know it's actually Yahabah Shema Shai, okay? Because this place has to be destroyed and that goes to the inside out, the inside going into their economy, okay? Them being embarrassed, you know, speaking about them, I'm speaking about the wicked, them being embarrassed, being made bare, okay? And the outside will be, you know, um, these different nations coming against uh, Babylon the Great. And also our Lord, Yahweh Shai, coming with that great cloud, okay, uh, that great uh, fathership, okay? So that's why they're preparing to launch their new world digital currency, because Esau Edom also knows that he has but a short time. It says they call it the unicorn. It would seem that their chances of succeeding remain dubious as long as Russia and China are competing with plans for their own global economic domination. Yeah, because Russia and China, they believe that they got next, but the Russia... 
is also the Edomites, okay? But they're, they're fighting against each other. And China are what the Moabites, okay? And they're set up for also a great judgment when you go into um, the Apocrypha. It speaks about the um, Asia, which is referring to China and also those different lands. Because those different lands well, in Asia, you have different part, different countries that are there. And they are consulting because they, again, they believe that they have, you know, they, they, get, they have the resources and the military force to be able to defeat Babylon thinking that they got next. Okay, but the, the true kingdom on earth, and I will bring that out at the end, Lord willing, is going to be um, Yasha Allah, which is going to be an everlasting kingdom that's spoken about in Daniel 7 and 27. So let's get a couple of scriptures. So we're right on uh, uh, the point of uh, prophecy, okay? What would be happening in this time? Everything's, everything is, is according to uh, what would be happening in the latter days, okay? Psalms 2 and 1, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain, vain thing? So all these different nations have consulted together, whether you have America and the NATO and the EU, which is what the B system, which is the uh, the Roman Empire, revived the second leg of the Roman Empire, and the head would be what America, Babylon the Great, and NATO and the EU would be following along with them, far as the, in their uh, military, and also in their um, you know economic uh, um, you know um, tachocracy that they want to bring forth, which is part of that unicorn, because that unicorn is at the top of all these different, these Fed nows and all these different CBDCs pilots that are going out because the Unicoin is working with IMF, which is the International Mutual Funds, which is, a, um, you know, you know, I want to say um, a group, okay, that is also part of the, um, also part of this thing that's been happening for the last three years, okay, uh, with Carl Schwab. It's also part of that, the, the WHO. OK, and they have uh, gathered, I believe it was 192 different countries to what, um, you know, to comply to the no sovereignty, you know, that that the citizens inside would have no rights, that they would have to comply with the who and they would have to apply with the unicorn to be able to buy and sell um, in the society. Otherwise, they would call you a dissident and they would put you in these different um, these different FEMA camps, these internment camps, these 15 minute cities. OK. And um, and they would, uh, you know, be able to legally execute you, you know, through their legislation. OK, so this is the heathen raging, causing commotion, you know, causing, uh, uh, you know, stirring up uh, mischief. Uh, for instance, you know, one thing that I was watching yesterday or wasn't watching, I just, you know, uh, the, going through the news and you have Florida the Santos where he said, you know, he put in an um, alert far as on those so-called you know, black people to not be in that, not be in that city or that, um, that town. Okay. You know, that state. Okay. And they, they put that in because they're also pushing a black on, you know, um, these class wars and these civil wars. Okay. So-called black and so-called white to what fight against each other. Okay. Cause also you have pedo Joe, um, saying that white supremacists are, are the worst people in the world, which they are, but they're not white. They're actually Edomites. Okay. And they're pushing forth their, um, you know, their, their mischief by law, okay, through formulating these different poly crises. So this is part of the heathen raging. And that vain thing is them bringing in the new world order, having full control under a one world, uh, uh, um, you know, rulership, okay? Not where you have these different countries that, that do their own thing, but having one form of government, one religion, and one military, okay? And part of that religion is the MOT to the B. And when they come down with that, which is something that's physical, they want to insert inside of you. And the reason why that's important, because that's going to be the hour of temptation where the Lord will intervene for his very elect. Okay. When the elect would be sealed and throughout the four corners of the earth, you would have um, the all out destruction that's spoken about in Revelation 7 uh, coming forth. Okay. Which we're at the peak of that. We're at the point where that's going to be popping off. Okay. Because we're seeing all these things happen. You know, there's not much more to, they can actually do, okay? Because they're, they're running out of time. Psalms 2 and 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying. So what are they saying that they got next, okay? They're saying that the prophecies are not what it what it seems to be, okay? And we got next, right? Far as the their technology that they're pushing because they're pushing everybody to have a C-hip inside of them. 
starting with Esau, Edom, Psalms 83, and these different heathen nations that are consulted together. Okay, and at this point, you know, you have China, you know, leading the way far as the social credit system, far as the FEMA camps. Okay, and that's coming to uh, America, that's coming to Babylon the Great. And the Lord is what's stirring up these different kings to what come together and also to come and come against each other in battle. Let me let me get this one actually first. <clears throat> this is Habakkuk. Two and five. Habakkuk two and five. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. So that wine goes into his philosophy and his philosophy is of Sodom and Gomorrah. OK, um, you know, uh, poison, you know, uh, nothing but to, to destroy the people because he comes like, a um, you know, a docile lamb, but he's actually like a roaring dragon. OK, he is a proud man. Yeah, he's a very proud man thinking that he could come up against the most high. Neither keep it at home. Yeah, he's always in everybody's business. That's why he's in Ukraine. That's why he's in Taiwan. That's why he's in Syria. OK, going into his military, being um, desolate, you know, as far as uh, being spread out, just like the time of Rome. They were, they were too spread out and they were able to be um, put down, okay? And that's how Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, but with a nuclear, thermal, uh, nuclear fire, just like uh, the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone, but this time even even um, even more, okay? Neither keep it that ohm, he enlarged his desire as hell. So hell is a condition played out on earth, okay? And that's what he does by pushing forth these unrighteous decrees on the people. He brings forth the hellish condition, you know, GMO foods, uh, your woman, a woman above you, your children don't listen, you know, uh, children engaging in man on man, woman on woman, transformer, they want to change their plumbing at eight years old. Okay, you have the uh, the colloquium where it's just nothing but an indoctrination of, of being part of their system. Okay. Um, you know, subject to payments, you know, as far as you're, you're being taxed, you, you work at a low income, you know, uh, uh, minimum wage job, and then you still get taxed. And then you come home, your wife's uh, arguing you about, about things you don't even know about going into you being under oppression. This is all Esau Edom. Okay. You know, also, you know, we're under the curses, but this is the things that go on uh, every day. Okay. It says, and while Esau Edom is able to travel around to these different uh, um, you know, countries and, and do wickedness all throughout the land and not be in trouble. But now the Lord's bringing forth his judgment, okay, and what righteousness. And as death, yeah, so Esau, Edom is known as hell and death because he brings forth a condition as hell, okay, and he either wants to deceive you or to kill you. And if he deceives you, he ultimately wants to kill you. He just wants to kill you slowly, okay, because th these are the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction, okay? They're not they're not made to be your friend. They're not, they, they are not your friend, okay? And it says, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. So that's what he's doing. He's gathering all these different nations uh, together to consult on one thing, which is a one world government. OK, but you have, um, you know, Russia and China that are mobilized, you know, together as far as allying against uh, Babylon the Great. OK, so you have where Yahabashima Shai is created. You know, their as far as their um their ally, you know, as far as people that are against them. Okay. It says, um, so that let's get that. Because these nations were once, you know, good with each other, right? Far as they're doing trade, you know, China is still doing trades with America. Okay. But they all still have the same agenda, which is to what? Bring forth that C hip. That that one, you know, that a uh, currency. Obadiah 1 and 7 and the NLT, all your allies will turn against you. So the ones that you, you know, China was trading with in these different nations, you have uh, Turkey, you have um, Saudi Arabia, okay, that were once, you know, uh, having contracts with, um, you know, with Babylon the Great going into the petrodollar, and now they're starting to have their own currency. So your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. Yeah, help because... Um, you know, these different nations, they still want, um, you know, as far as the product that, that America has, because America is known as that, that great, that great kingdom. Okay. They don't want the rulership that they have, but they still want the, you know, as far as the stamp, just like you have, um, Pepsi, you know, you have Pepsi or Coca-Cola, right? That's a big brand. Okay. But you also, when you go to the store, they have other, uh, sodas, but they're just, they're knockoffs. They don't want the knockoff. They want actually Babylon the great. 
That's why they bought up land over here, as far as uh, China and these different nations, because Babylon the Great is nothing but a um, a business. Okay, it's nothing but a corporation. Okay, and that is at, that is at its last peak. It's going bankrupt. Obadiah one and seven, and will not come back. Obadiah one and seven, all your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and to destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you, and you won't even know about it. Yeah, you won't even know about it. So in um, Revelation 17, it also speaks about that the NATO and the EU, the horns, would what come against America. Okay, and that's all prophecy. <clears throat> and one of those uh, countries is Turkey because Turkey was part of um, NATO. Okay, and they're going with uh, what? Russia. So with these different nations, oh yeah, well, let me get one more. With Russia, you know, coming against America, that's a house divided because these are these are both Edomites. Okay. And what did uh, Yaharashai say? This right here, Mark 3 and 24. If a kingdom be divided, yeah, if a kingdom be divided against itself, that can that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. It says if Satan, okay, Satan goes into adversary. Okay, it goes into the definition of adversary of against what? Righteousness. Okay, Russia has the same agenda as America because they're both Edomites. Okay, rise up against himself and be divided. He cannot stand but had an end. So this is the point where they're at their end. Where the, where the last time, Luke 21 and 24, that a heathen will ever be in rulership. Okay, Mark 3 and 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So who's that strong man? That's Yahweh Rashad. Okay, he's came in uh, with his with the doctrine from his father, okay, to be able to present to the prophets, and the prophets are able to hewn this place and cut it down and break it down asunder. Okay. Ultimately, from the inside out, starting with exposing Esau Edom, you know, that great inquisition on Esau Edom and pointing him out. That's why he wants to come with his, uh, you know, um, you know, with this slander far as extremism, uh, radicalism, you know, uh, with his uh, different, you know, uh, black against white, um, you know, formulation um, far as um, I was speaking about it earlier, you know, the white supremacy against the blacks and things like that. This is not a white or black thing. This is about a righteous and a, and a wicked thing. Uh, uh, Edomite, <laughs> you know, uh, the wicked, which is the Edomites, okay, against what um, the righteousness, which is what Jacob, Yasha Allah, princes of the power. And in this story, the righteous wins. Um, Yahweh Bashan Hashai's counsel shall stand. Hosea 6 and 5, therefore I've hewn in by the prophets. So the prophets have the, what, the mysteries, the mysterion, the, the things that are written in this book, and the Lord has opened up their mind to be able to um, be able to teach others, the ones that have the eyes out to be able to hear, you know, and to be able to see and give and wake up the tabernacle of David as the days of old through the Lord, what quickened in their spirit. Therefore, I've hewn them by the prophets. I've slain them by the words of my mouth and their judgments are as light that goeth forth. So the judgments that the true men of the Lord will be speaking about would be World War Three. OK, would be that Esau, you know, will be coming in like a flood. That there's going to be a great danger. There's going to be famine. There's going to be pestilence. There's going to be evils on the earth. There's going to be a time of trouble like never before. And to repent and come back to the Lord. Those that repent and come back to the Lord are going to be able to be saved. Okay? But it's not going to be easy. Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. Okay? So skipping down, it says, we don't, it says, we don't yet know which version of the New World Order will be living under the U.S. NATO version of the Chinese-Russian version. So I already went into that. Um, and let me get that scripture. <clears throat> because of the, um, you know, China's just following the ways of Esau Edom. Because for a long time, the, the Britons, and they still have land over there, Great Britain, okay, uh, owned China. You know, far as, you know, they, they were conquering them, okay? And they're still over there. This is, um, yeah, what is that? Second, let's see, Slaki. Yeah, right here, cut. Second Ezra is 15 and 46. 
Yeah, Second Ezra is 15 and 46. And thou, O Asia, thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon and thou art glory of her person. person. So when you go over to there in Asia, I was just I saw something yesterday where where China has the most um, skyscrapers. And where does the skyscraper come? That comes from Esau Edom. I believe the first one was in uh, Chicago. OK, and those are those that's Esau Edom. He built his what his habitation high. OK. And that shows you that they're over there in that land. And these different nations follow the customs of what Esau Edom, okay? Which the cash cow is Babylon the Great. So they follow the wickedness, the same whoredoms, okay? Second Ezra 15, uh, 15 and 46. And thou, O Asia, going into uh, China, but also those different nations that are, um, you know, far as that are around China, okay? Thou art for it because that's a huge landmass. It says, Thou, o Asia, thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon, and thou art a glory of a person. Woe, which means destruction, be unto thee, thou wretch. Okay? And what is a wretch? A wretch is an old, decrepit person, a person that is wicked. Okay? It says, Let me just get the definition of that real quick. Yeah, it says, A wretch, an unfortunate or ha unhappy person. A poor creature, a poor soul, <laughs> a despicable and contemptible person. Yeah, so that's how um, Asia is acting. They're acting just like what um, Esau Edom, which is all these things. It says, Second Ezra 15 and 47, Woe, which means destruction, be unto thou, O wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, and that that might please and glory in the lovers. Yeah, and what are they loving in? The um, having slaves. OK, uh, for, you know, being wicked. Right. Iniquity, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Yeah. Always desired to be like what? Just like them. OK, but they can never get under that thumb. But now the Lord has given them, you know, the power to be able to have hypersonic missiles, to be able to have, you know, um, cheap labor that makes them a, a one of the superpowers through their labor. They don't have labor laws where they just they have, you know very young children, you know, doing all the work and then they ship it off to these different countries. Okay. 48. And thou has followed her. Okay. And that her speaking about America, right. That is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore said thy power, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste the houses and the destruction and death. Okay. So that's, what's going to happen to uh, um, Asia, you know, China thinking that they got next. So that's what's going to happen. And also Russia is set up for um, a great judgment too, okay? But I want to keep going on this uh, article. It says, but whether we end up with the digital UN, which is the Chinese um, currency, okay, or a digital unicorn, a unicorn, Slakia, and that goes into the International Mutual Funds, which is part of the WEF, as advocated last week by the International, yeah, that's what it is, International Monetary Fund, Okay or some other digital currency, the days of the U.S. fiat dollar being the world's reserve currency appear numbered. Yeah, their days are numbered, okay? And with them uh, falling, there's going to be also um, Babylon the Great is going to go through a lot of uh, destruction, okay? And that starts from the inside out, okay? And I want to get into that part. This is uh, Second Ezra, or no, Isaiah 14, Yeah, Isaiah, I'll just get to the point. Isaiah 14 and 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at the coming. It stir up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up for the thrones all the kings of the nations. So all these nations remember what, um, you know, Babylon the Great did to them. Far as bringing forth their, their you know, uh, American culture, their colonization of the people. Okay. Um, you know, destroying, rape, robbing, murdering these different lands. OK, and now these nations are gathering together to come against Babylon the Great. And that's the Lord doing that. That's Proverbs. Slakia. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands of Yahweh as the rivers of the water. He turned it whatsoever he will. So the Lord has these different kings that are rising up against America. You have Vladimir Putin. You have Xi Jinping. You have what um, King Jong-un. You know, uh, Rocket Man. You have these different, um, 
you know, uh, kings of the earth that are what consulting on to uh, be next in the new world order. OK, when they believe that they can be able to have next. OK, and the Lord is using them um, because the Lord is what known as what the um, the host of the battle. OK, and he's gathering together ultimately to do the Habashim Rashai's work. OK. So Isaiah 14 and 10, it says, they shall speak and say unto thee, are thou also become weak as we are thou become like unto us? And that's what happened to Babylon the Great, because the military is weak. You have where there was an article, 70 percent of their military or 70 percent of the people in the world are not even eligible to be even in the military. OK, then. So what are they doing? They're letting in the man on man, woman on woman transformers into the military. OK, which makes them weak. And these different nations are laughing and uh, mocking their their leadership going into Pedal Joe and, and, and Clementa Harris, uh, Clement, Clementia Harris. OK, they're they're all being laughed at and being mocked and scoffed because they don't even have, um, you know, anything to say. They're not they're not holding the role going into Babylon, the great falling. OK, Isaiah 14 and 10. Let me read it again. It says, all they shall speak and say unto thee, are thou also become weak as we are thou become like unto us? And that's why you have China and Russia doing uh, um, training exercises in the Panama Canal. OK, because they see they're circling far as Babylon the Great, knowing that this place is, is uh, ready for the kill. OK, they're circling it like sharks. It says 11, the pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of the vials and the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee. Yeah, going into, um, you know, far as their, uh, you know, th their scheme with the petrodollar. Okay, that's been blown up. Now these different um, countries are going to their own currency. Okay, the, um, you know, their economy is crashing. They're in a recession, but they're saying that it's all good. Okay, the, um, the people are acting uh, colder and colder. Because they're seeing that the different, you know, um, platforms that they once had, like Snap benefits and things like that, are going out the door. Also, you have where, um, you know, people are getting kicked out of the house. Okay, so that goes into, you know, the destruction of Babylon the Great and their economy being destroyed. Okay, it's going to be. Let me read it again. It says, "Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of the vials and the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee." Okay, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of morning? Okay, and Lucifer just means light bearer, but that's particularly speaking about Esau Edom right there because he's holding the light far as the wickedness in the earth, and that light is going to be what put out. Okay, he speaks about that in Job. How Lucifer, son of morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which thou hast weakened the nations? And they have weakened these different nations with their what? Their military. Okay, but now their military is weak, and these different nations are starting to what? See that. And starting to what uh, um jump on it okay it says yeah the war in ukraine has ignited a global rebellion against the u.s led world order which has been unpinned by the petrodollar since the end of the world war too but the u.s government and its corporate media partners are doing their their best to keep the global rebellion hidden from americans and europeans okay ukraine is winning the war and that's what they use. They use uh, their media to be able to act like everything's all good, which is a form of sorcery. Ukraine is winning the war and everything we be fine, we're told. Yeah, and Ukraine's not winning the war. OK, but there is a proxy war that's going on. OK, meanwhile, the dollar is gradually being exposed as a shame currency that will ultimately be a subject to hasty rudimentary burial. As <laughs> what did it just say? The Let me get that again. OK, what does it say? Be subject to hasty rudimentary. Let me let me get that definition. Sock you. Rudimentary. OK, rudimentary. Rudimentary. It says involving our limited basic principles, rudimentary burial as more and more nations realize it's fraudulent. A scam. A dollar is backed by nothing. That's supposed to power reach of the U.S. government. With Pax America was probably always overrated, but at this point, as history goes on to expose the laughing stock, yeah. So, a couple of different scriptures come to mind, but let's go back to that one Isaiah 14 and 11. Let's read this in NOT. You might, it says, your might and power will be buried with you. And what did it just say? It says that these nations have exposed them, or you know, or you know, they have to understand that it's just a scheme and a plot, and now what it's headed for a burial. You might 
it says your might and your power. Okay, America's might and power. Your might and power will be buried with you. The sound of the harp in the palace has ceased. Okay, now maggots are your sheet and your worms are your blanket going into their inheritance, dung and worms. Okay, and why? Because this word is exposing them, 8 and 17. Luke 8 and 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that it shall not be known and come abroad. Now it's being known that the petrodollar was always a scheme. It's being revealed to the whole world, okay? Starting with this word being going out there to the, to the prophets. It says, Isaiah 29 15, woe, which means destruction unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in dark. They say, who is seeth us, who knoweth us? Yeah, the servants of Yahweh Shem Shai see you. That's why you're, that's why you're um, being exposed, um, you know, in this time. When the Lord is also using these different alternative networks like BitChute and these different other guys like Dabu7 and Alice Jones to what also expose you. Okay? You know, all eyes are, you know, all eyes shall see what the downfall of Babylon the Great. And also you have what the mockery. Okay, everyone's, uh, these different nations are mocking and scoffing um, America, okay, which is where the elites, you know, cash cow. Habakkuk 2, yeah, Habakkuk 2 and 6, let me read this in NLT, but soon their captives will be, it says, but soon their captives will taunt them, okay, they will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You become rich by extortion, but how much longer can this go on? Okay, but soon the captives, the people that are under your under your rule, because you've been known as the, you've been the hammer of the earth. Okay, so everyone's been under your rulership. That's also spoken about in Isaiah 14. But soon the captives will taunt them. So that's what they're doing. They're taunting. They will mock them. They're making uh, commercials. Uh, you know, making a comedian. Um, you know, comedy about. Uh, you know, as far as the. Um, you know, Pedro Joe and, and, and Kamina Harris. It says, now, it says, what sorrow awaits you, thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You become rich by extortion. But how much longer can this go on? And that's what that was. That petrodollar was extortion because everybody had to go through that petrodollar. Okay? So if you had to buy something, you couldn't just go to buy just with that person. They, they always had a middleman, which that middleman was America. Okay? It says... Suddenly, your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless because you have plundered many nations. Now all your survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and you filled towns with violence. Okay? What sorrow awaits you who build big houses with money gained dishonestly? You believe your wealth will buy you security, putting your family's nest beyond the reach of danger. Okay? But again, they're exposed. Okay, let me keep going. But by the murderers you committed, you have shamed your name and forfeited your lives. The very stones in the walls going into the um going into the prophets, the very stones in the walls cry out against you, and the beams in the ceilings echo the complaint. What a sorrow awaits you who build cities with money gained through money and corruption. Has not the Lord of heaven armies promised the wealth of nations will turn you to ashes that work so hard but all in vain? Okay, and that's where this place is headed to. Destruction. All right, let me read a little bit more of this. I got to bounce out. Um, all right. So I'll get this point. It says, since it was taken off the gold standard decades ago, most of what proposed up the dollar was illusion. Yeah, illusion. Nothing but a facade. Okay, of a strong... Nothing but a lie and deceit. It says the illusion of a strong U.S. military that kept any rebellious nations in line. The U.S. spends more on its defense than the next 10 countries combined. The most of the money has gone into maintaining expensive overseas bases, CIA mischief around the world. The U.S. controls about 750 bases in at least 80 countries. Couple that rambling military footprint and abundance of U.S. national resources and perceived geopolitical leadership of U.S. government. And that's what it backs by the dollar. But that's the problem. All above, the U.S. advantage are based on more perception than reality. All these perceived pillars of America power are in rapid decline due to crazy amounts of debt, over 32 million at last count, and poor leadership. 
Joe Biden and Camilla Harris are subject of mockery in Saudi Arabia TV. This would have not happened in the past. Even didn't like us. They respected not not anymore. Biden is a man who appoints likes of Samuel Britton and Rachel Levy to high government posts. How can anyone take them seriously? OK, it says Samuel Britton was placed in charge of nuclear waste division of the U.S. Department of Energy until it started stealing ladies underwear from airports. Showing you the um, all the things that are going on in there. The the um, the uh, what is that called? The you know <laughs> the the woman on woman the transformer mentality. Okay. It says when it comes to natural resources, what good are when the government continuously restricts the exploitation, processing, and use of so-called yeah so-called fossil fuels? Because that's nothing but a lie too. While subsidizing unreliable renewables like solar, wind turbines, equipment for which primarily are made in China. Okay. It says, yep. So we we got the point. So let's touch on a couple topics on that. That's Jeremiah. Oh, yeah, so they're heavy debt. We can go back into that. This is Habakkuk 2, right here, 6, in the, in the King James Version. Shall not all these take up a parable against thee, and a taunting proverb against him? And shall woe unto them that increase that which is not his? How long? And to them that laddeth himself with thick clay. So when you go into that word thick clay, and the definition, it goes into what? Heavy debt. Okay, like they said, 32 trillion. And how have they been able to... Um, you know, conquer the world through what their military, but now what their military is being broken down. 50. Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land of great destruction. How is the hammer of the earth? And the hammer is their military. Okay. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nation? Desolation among the nations. I have laid a snare for thee. Who's laid a snare? Yahabashim Rashai. And thou also taken, O Babylon, thou waste not away, and thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh had opened the armory, because all these different um you know uh, militaries are the Lord's armories. Okay, the Lord Yahweh opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of indignation, and the nation goes into righteous anger, for this is the work of Yahweh Shemarashai, the host in the land of the Chaldeans, which the Chaldeans goes into what uh, America today, okay, the Babylonians, okay, which is again America today. All right, so this is one more Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, so they drunken of the philosophies, thinking that they could be able to do deals with America. But America's always reneged on their deals. Okay, and now that golden cup, as um, far as America being that, that beacon of light, is being destroyed. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How is it going to fall? Through hypersonic missiles firing off on this place. Over 200 million missiles that are going to be firing off at the time of World War III. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so be, she should be healed. We would have healed Babylon, which Babylon speaking about America today. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her not. Let us go on every one into his own country for her judgment reaches into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah. And so that's what a lot of these nations are uh, noticing is that. This place is what uh, following and they could be able to go to their country and be able to make money uh, from their own country. They don't need to be in America anymore. They don't need to be in America. They could be able to make their money in, in different places. OK, as far as they can send their products over to America. They don't need to be there because it's too expensive to live. OK. And going into the who is going to actually be in the new world order and I ended right there. <clears throat> this right here, Revelation 19. And this is our Lord Yahweh Shai. Revelation 19 and 15, out of his mouth go a sharp sword. And who's that speaking about? Yahweh Shai. A sharp sword that with it should smite the nations and shall rule them with the rod of iron. And he shall tread down the winepress and the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power. Okay, and he had a vesture and a thigh and a name written, King of Kings, a thigh a, on his thigh, a name written, King of King, Lord of Hosts. It's like a King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Okay, going into um, Yahweh Shemashai is taking down all these rulerships. Okay, and this is the one I want to end on because this is the true New World Order. 
This is Daniel 7 and 27. It says, In the kingdom of dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the heaven shall be given to, to the people of the saints. And who are the saints? The Hebrew Israelites of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and dominion shall serve and obey him. So all these different nations are going to serve and obey um, the kingdom of Yahshua Allah. Let me get another one. This is Psalms 145. Psalms 145 and... No, it's not this one. Let's see. Yeah, right here. Slock it, bear with me. Yeah, this is it. Psalms 145 and 13, the kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and dominion endured throughout the generations. The Lord Yahweh uphold all that fall and raise up all those that be bowed down. Okay, going into, um, you know, the elect bowing down to Yahweh Shemashai, the eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them thou meat in due season. Going into, um, you know, all the work that's been, that, that Yahweh Shemashai has given us. Okay, the Lord is going to give us a reward that opens thy hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord Yahweh is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. And the Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. And he will also hear their cry and will save them. The Lord Yahweh preserve all that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of Yahweh and let all the flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. So bless his holy name, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So with that, call Hello Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwada, Shalom to the Lent, Kwam Yahshallah.